everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. In this episode of Anatomy of a Mattress, we are gonna take apart the bare mattress. So let's go. All right, so we got this Bear Mattress in. This was a few days ago. Yeah. And uh, Bear Mattress, online company, they've been around for almost, I would say, at least eight years. At least, that I've seen. Yeah. I haven't seen so much of them, at least their ads, as much as I used to. They were pretty loud, but then again, who knows? Yeah. But story behind this one, Gabe. This kid, How old is this mattress? This one is from 2017. 2017, okay. Yeah. So what happened was the customer, it was just too hard for them. Too much, you know, they felt it too much on the shoulder. Okay. It feels pretty firm. I mean, yeah. it's cold in here, but it feels pretty firm. And so they actually ended up moving it to their guest bedroom. And then, you know, they thought, you know what, we need to change out our mattresses. So they changed out their their personal one, they said, and then they also changed out their guest one okay. as well. Well, yeah, so I mean, in the guest bedroom. It doesn't look that bad of shape for a seven year old mattress. And I'm looking here, I mean, it looks pretty, this is not, not too bad. Yeah. So yeah, let's open this one up. Let's see what's going on with let's this. Let's get the, uh, let's get the height first real quick. The thickness Probably of like, what, a nine inch mattress, 10 inch mattress, it's 10 inches. 10 inches, okay, not too thick. All right, not too thin. All right, so here, let's go. I'm gonna try to do it at the seam. All right. Let's open this bad boy Now up. things have been have changed with them. Um, I think now they, they say they use a uh, non-fiberglass. Fire retardant? Uh, uh, fire retardant, yeah. Okay. But I mean, this looks like the. Is that what's on their website? That's on their website. Yeah. So on a queen size, this is, I believe, the original, and this one, I believe, retails under seven hundred bucks, like six, seven hundred bucks, which, as a, I will say, seems like it's a fair price. Now, here we go. Here now, this, as we stated in a lot of these other past Anatomy of a Mattress videos, this is the FR. This is the fire retardant. Every mattress needs to pass the fire test. Doesn't matter how you pass it, you just gotta pass it, especially for foam mattresses. Yeah. The sock is the, one of the most common ways to do it. Yeah. But problem is, if, especially with these mattresses that have the zipper top where you, you can take it off, mm -hmm. this has, you gotta be careful because of the fiberglass fibers. This has fiberglass in it. There's tiny little fibers that go everywhere and can get on your clothes, get in your furniture, get in your house there's lawsuits that people have put forth that because it's ruined it oh right yeah sure. not through bare mattress i'm not so i don't know bare mattress has been part of any of the lawsuits but i'm just um, to be careful couple, with like the fiberglass fiber yes mattress, right yes so we're gonna have to trash this right away all right so as we see here let's say going from well let's from the cover this is a stretch knit cover. There's you no know? quilting in it. No quilting. Yeah. This is a pretty basic cover on their website. I believe it's a salient cover, you know, which is a fancy, it has like it's a fancy, has some natural properties in it. But this is a stretch knit polyester cover mostly. And which, it, because it's not quilted, you're gonna feel that foam underneath. Yeah. You can get a non quilted or quilted. Mm -hmm. They're both gonna give you a different type of feel, you know? So, and not, not a, really a better or worse. It's just kind of what the feel you're going for, you know? Okay. okay so this is, on the top layer, this is gonna be graphite remember, so. and like uh, maybe some gel inside of it too. Yeah, graphite and gel, Probably gel too. Yeah, and that was a trend. I would say here at least ten years ago when we see graphite gel. Or gel probably goes back fifteen years, and it's just another story with memory foam. It's supposed to make it cooler. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to dissipate heat. In my opinion, I do not think it does. I have seen so many companies try different things: copper, graphite, diamond infuse. There's other ones that they say that can just, a lot of it is marketing. A lot of it, in my opinion, is smoke and mirrors because once you have the cover on it, once you have a sheet on it, a mattress protector, takes away from that. All of that yeah. goes out the window. But this is the graphite, so I believe. Graphite memory foam. and you probably got a little bit more memory foam right underneath that as yep. well. Yeah. Yep. So then let's kind of see. So the how many inches do we have right here? Graphite is about a inch and a quarter. Yeah. About an inch and a half. Inch and a half. Yeah. About an inch and a half yeah. of the graphite memory foam. And then these these two little layers right here. Got about another about an inch. Yep. And then was that an inch? Just under an inch. About an inch. And then let's call it what three and a half inches, maybe. Yeah. So the three parts of the mattress from the bottom. This is the support layer. This is where you want most of the your support to come from. Mm -hmm. This is the comfort layer where most of the, the comfort and the pressure point relief is gonna come from. Yeah, and know? these are gonna be different, usually different densities to give you more of that, when there's multiple layers in that comfort layer, to give you more of a, a steady feel going down to the, the support Yeah, so layer. you don't have a sudden stop. Yeah. Here's the thing though, you don't wanna go cheap, like any one of these layers 
are like a lower density, yeah. a cheaper quality, it's gonna break down at the lower, at the cheaper foam. Yeah. And that's why we say less is more, and a lot of times, and a mattress is only good as the weakest link, mm -hmm. because if you got a cheap foam in there, it's gonna break down at the cheap foam. Oh yeah. So it's really hard just by feeling like how dense these are. I mean, this is a, seems like a decently dense, like a medium dense memory. I would say probably anywhere from three to four pound dense memory mm -hmm. foam, if I, had a, if I had a guess. So what I wanna do is, let's see. Kind of hard with that. Uh, yeah, this is glued pretty yeah, good. Yusuf. Here's the thing with the gluing too, you know, I mean, you, gluing keeps everything from shifting. You don't want it to not have anything, but when you put a bunch of glue on the mattress, especially if you're trying to get a cooler mattress, that glue takes away any of that breathability, mm -hmm. you know? It just inhibits any airflow that you're getting on the mattress. Yeah, because there's that film in between the foam, and if, if they say it's an open cell foam and it says breathable, now you got this film right above it, right? Yes. So for 600 bucks, 600, 700 bucks, I mean, I have seen this bed is, I would say fairly priced. Yeah. For that price point, for that price you know. Is, I would agree. Um, but again. Pretty basic, you know. Yeah. You got your 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 base layer foam underneath it and then you got your memory foam layers. Yeah, yeah. Right? And that dead? base layer foam, well, I mean, if this was a 10 inch mattress, the mattress gonna be about seven inches, yeah. six and a half. Yeah, I mean, it looks a lot better, like just visually, like we just, not trying to bash on them, but we you know we just did the ghost bed. Visually, it looks better in a and held up a lot better than the ghost bed. And yeah. that was an older mattress. Just visually looking at it, it looks like a cleaner mattress. Yeah, this is it. It's pretty simple. It's not, they've done a few changes over the last couple of years, but nothing crazy. Yeah. That's about it. If you're looking for the bare mattress, not a bad buy for six to 700 bucks. See what you get. This is it. I hope this helped you guys. If you guys have any questions on your mattress shopping journey, feel free to give us a call or put it in the comments. We try to do our best to answer them. You know, we take apart a lot of other beds you could click on the next video below and then also we do a lot of mattress education too you could click on the other video next to it so we have a guide a mattress guide too so you can check that out on our website thanks for watching thank you bye